Moving on here, let's talk about this thing that it's called rates. Um, is there a special type of ratio that we're going to talk about with um, when we uh, compare two different quantities in different units? Um, oftentimes we use this with uh, the idea of a unit rate so that we can make comparisons, so that we can uh, figure out different costs of different items. Um, but a unit rate is uh, one uh, ratio when we compare two different things, and the denominator is one. So we often use these um, express expressions using the word per or the idea of for every. So let's give an example here. Um, here's a couple. Uh, miles per hour. That would be a very common unit rate. We talk about uh, miles traveled for every hour or per every hour for each hour. So if you're traveling 30 miles an hour, it means for every one hour you travel, you, I'm sorry, for one hour you are driving, you would travel 30 miles. And that allows us to figure out, you know, if you're driving for longer than an hour, how far could you go? Um, and then we use that idea of miles per hour or speed all the time to sort of determine how fast something is safe to be. We have speed limits, all that kind of fun stuff. Another time you see it often is uh, in the grocery store. You might see something as dollars per pound. We see the uh, uh, maybe in the deli lunch counter, apples, the butcher. If you're buying fish, any of those things, you might see dollars per pound. So now that you have a quick couple of examples, try to think of something that you might see um, the word per or for every or this idea of a unit rate. See if you can come up with one maybe that um, we didn't talk about right now. Go ahead. So hopefully you came up with something like uh, fuel efficiency. You know, you hear a lot about this now with um, these hybrid cars. And fuel efficiency is the distance or the amount of gallons that you, I'm sorry, the number of miles that you can travel on one gallon of gasoline. Okay, that would be one of them. Um, and there you go. There's another one. Just the price of gas. We pay dollars per um, dollars per gallon. Maybe um, you thought of being paid. You get paid in dollars per hour. Uh, so there are a couple of them. Um, if you thought of one that I didn't come up with right now, please bring it to class and share it with us. All right, well, let's keep moving on here. Let's take a look at um, where you might see this, okay, or how we can calculate a rate, all right? Um, let's say Mr. Turnbow is hosting a party, and he's got 20 people coming. He knows that the party is going to cost him $60. So we're going to say, what is the cost of the party per person? So... If we were to average it out, what would be the cost for each person? Okay, And this could be useful if, let's say, he decides to add a couple more people and he wants to change the, the, uh, the cost. He knows how much to charge, maybe per person. If maybe a couple people can't come, then he knows how much to subtract off the total price. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the rate, and we're going to compare the cost of the party to the number of people at the party, and then we're going to rewrite it so that the denominator is 1. That gives us the unit rate, okay? And if you go to the grocery store, I please, I encourage you, the unit rate is everywhere. Um, I know at one point it had been a law that they had to put, include a unit rate on the price tag of every single thing in the uh, grocery store. So um, take a look. See if you can uh, find it there if you're, if you're there sometime in the near future. Okay, so um, typically what I should have done here is when we do this, we should write down what we're actually comparing. So in this price, in this, I sort of labeled it here, but the, really the idea is we want to put cost and we want to compare it to people. Okay, and then we can go ahead and fill this in. So we have $60 and 20 people. Okay, and I know that the people go on the bottom because it asks cost, okay, so that's going to be in the numerator, per gives me the denominator, person, I'm sorry, per means this is the division sign, and then the person, the second thing, that's going to go in the denominator, okay, and that's the thing we're going to change to one. Okay, so you get $60 for 20 people, you simply divide here, okay, we're going to do 60 divided by 20, okay, when we divide this by 20, we're going to get one, you end up with $3 per person. Okay, and then we could say, well, how much would it cost for, let's say, two people? And you should say, oh, that will be six dollars. How much would it be for three people? You could say, oh, well, that would be nine dollars. We say, well, how much? What if it was ten dollars or ten people? We could say, well, that would be uh, thirty dollars. 
And then we could say, well, what if we had twelve dollars to spend? Okay, if we had twelve dollars to spend, well then how many people could come? And we could say, oh well then that would be four people. Okay? So these unit rates are very, very handy. Very, very nice things to be used. And we use them all of the time. Or <clears throat> you really can't escape them. So let's move on. And uh, what I want to do is let's go ahead and let's practice calculating some of these unit rates. So I found a website here. Okay, it's called studyzone.org. It's a M test prep. And all we're really going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and we are going to uh, calculate unit rates. Okay, and in order to calculate unit rates, we should set it up. And I'm going to write on top of here. Um, I'm going to use uh, like a dark blue, okay? So let's do this. The box of cereal costs three fifty nine for 30 ounces. Find the unit cost. Okay, now, when they ask for a unit cost, what they're really saying is they want to know how much money it costs for every ounce, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll put this in. So it's going to be $3.59 for 30 ounces. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and divide that. I'm going to pull up the calculator from the computer here. Uh, let's do this. Um, actually, Google has a calculator in here, so let's just do that. We'll go ahead and we'll just type it in. We'll say equals uh, three three point five nine divided by thirty. And it's going to tell me it's, uh, we're going to round that to 12 seconds. I mean, 12 uh, cents. Okay, so this is going to end up being 12 cents for each ounce. Okay, we can go ahead and we can check on this little thing and <clears throat> you'll see their solution was the same. Okay, and what they didn't do and what they should have done is put in for one ounce. Okay, so it's 12 cents for every ounce. Well, let's go ahead and let's try another one here. Okay, in fact, let's do this. Why don't you go ahead and you try doing 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we'll go ahead and uh, go through the answers here. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and we'll go from there. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to do those. So let's go through. Um, and number two, we have two dollars and ninety nine cents and sixty two ounces. Okay. And uh, we're going to go ahead and type this in the calculator. All right. No, normally I would say we would do this by hand, but we've been practicing turning uh, fractions into decimals using long division. This is part of the reason why. And it's just way more efficient to use a calculator here. So let's divide by 62 ounces. So we've got 299 divided by 62 ounces. And we'll look and we'll say, OK, this one is 0 0.048. So we can round that to 0 0.05 per ounce. Or what that really means is 5 cents for every ounce. So each ounce of rice is 5 cents. Okay, and we can use that to you know determine the cost of you know if one package comes in 62 ounces and another comes in 80 ounces, then maybe you want to try to buy the one for the uh, the least amount per ounce. Okay, you can kind of see which one is a better deal. And that's kind of where we're going with this whole thing. So, looking at number three here, let's see. You have a box of muffin mix. It's three dollars and twenty nine cents. Okay, and I'm just going to actually use this right here since it's on the end. And we'll divide it by 40 ounces, okay? And we'll get the unit cost. So again, we're going to do $3.29. And we're going to divide that by 40. And that gives us 0 0.0825. Okay, well, this is the pennies. And I'm going to round. So I look here. That's a 2. That's going to keep the 8 the same. I'm not going to push it up to 9. So it's 8 cents per ounce, okay? So we get. Zero. We could just say, we could do this. We could either do 0 0.08 for one ounce, or we could say 8 cents per ounce. Either one would work. Okay, and let's go ahead, let's check. Let's see what they say. Yep, they did the same thing. $3.29 divided by 40, 8 cents. Okay. All right, 
Uh, let's try number four. Again, I'm just going to sort of draw a line here, and we're going to divide by 64 ounces. And this is going to give us a cost per ounce, right? So for one ounce, like I could set it up ahead of time. And we'll go ahead and we'll divide. We'll say it's about $5, $4.99 divided by 64. 0 0.07. 7, 9, so I'm going to look here and I'm going to round it, okay? So I'm going to, again, I'm going to round it to here at that edge right there between the 7s, but this 7 will push that up to an 8, so it's going to give me 0 0.08. All right, and let's see what they did. Let's pop it in here, and they did the same thing. Okay, that's your solution. And let's try this last one. We have... $1.99 for 16 ounces. So I can just divide by 16 ounces, and that's going to give me how much for a one ounce? Okay, let's type it in. $1.99 divided by, whoops. Dollar, oh, I'm going crazy here. Okay, $1.99 divided by 16 is equal to. 0 0.1243. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, look here. This is the same. This is a 4. It's going to keep this the same. So it's going to be 12 cents per ounce. Okay, so this is how we do unit rates. Um, tomorrow when we come into class, I'm going to ask you to calculate a bunch of unit rates. You're just going to do a bunch of practice. Please, please, please bring your calculator. It will make your life much, much easier. Um, and yeah, we'll use these. We'll start getting a hang of doing unit rates, and then we'll use unit rates in order to determine other different types of costs and determine best deal. Um, and this is really useful stuff. This is stuff that you will find yourself using on a on a pretty good basis uh, a lot of the time, uh, just sort of in day-to-day -day activities. Okay, good luck, and we'll see you tomorrow.